Hey guys, Coach Jesse here. In today's video demonstration, I'm gonna take you through the prime goblet squat with curl, because curls get the girls. Now, there is actually a reason for incorporating a bicep curl. And just to get this straight out of the equation, we don't typically prescribe bicep curls with the kettlebell, okay? Kettlebells have much more effective variations of exercises, swings, cleans, snatches, squats, get-ups, deadlifts, those kind of things. So that's typically what we use the kettlebell for. But for this drill, the curl actually helps us get a little bit more in terms of mobility, okay? By changing our center of mass, shifting the weight forwards and backwards. And for those who want a bit more arm definition or a bit more muscle mass, this is right up your alley as well. So if you've done the prime goblet squat, you understand the benefits of what we're trying to do. We're trying to create space within the hip joint. It's a great mobility drill to do prior to lifting or on your off days or even if you're just feeling a bit stiff and tight and you want to mobilize the body. Great exercise. We're going to take it to the next level with the curl. This is what it looks like. I'll show you from the front and then the side. Trying goblet squat. Elbows on the insides of the knees, shifting the weight left to right. I'm opening the hips up and I'm trying to keep my big toe planted. Once you've done that a few times and you feel comfortable in the bottle, uh, bottom, curl the weight and then take a breath in, stand it up, big exhale, relax the hips, shift the weight about, this feels comfortable, one curl, sniff to brace, and then park the bell. So, you probably didn't see it too much from that position from the front, but you can see I'm shifting the hips left to right. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint. It has the capacity for a lot of movement. Left, right, forwards, backwards, diagonal, internal rotation, external rotation. We want to explore these positions. I'll show you from a side view, and you should hopefully notice a subtle change in my body shape and positioning going forwards and backwards now as I do this bicep curl. So you can either do it like this, goblet clean, or you can use the swing method where you actually hike the bell between the legs. Go for what is most comfortable for you. Cut all slightly off the body. Pull the hips down. Get comfortable here. You're going to be here for some time. Enjoy it. Okay, this feels nice and solid. Stable base. The weight wants to pull me forwards. That's okay. Curl. Collarbone's nice and high. So we're exploring. Left to right, forwards, backwards. Put some weight over the forefoot and the toes. Put some weight through the heels. Do a curl. See how that changes your body shape and your posture. Sniff and brace. And then park the bell. So there you have it guys, that is the prying goblet squat with curl. It's not better or worse than the traditional prying goblet squat. It's a variation and it allows you to kind of access a bit more of those movements, forwards and backwards, okay? And as I said, it does give you the side benefit of having a little bit of extra direct arm work. So if that's your goal, more the power to you. So there you have it guys, the prying goblet squat with curl.